Okay, welcome to step two. So remember, if there was no EXE file for any of those, then you didn't download the release version on GitHub. Make sure you get the release version. It's it's there, trust me. And then make a shortcut of the EXE and put them in your folder, just like we talked about. Now, to get started, and you want this to be the easiest way possible to learn how to do something, we're gonna reverse engineer someone else's work. And we're going to modify it. I wanted to work on the dildo sword. All right. I know, very immature, but believe it or not, it's not it's not that bad. So I've never used the matte version of this, and I'm just going to trust that it works because it's super easy. Um, download it, and we're just going to wait for it to, to finish up here. Now I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it on my desktop. All right, and then I'm going to unpack it and it becomes a folder or unzip it, I guess, decompress it. Now you don't need the zip file per se, or like the original, but it's, it's not a bad idea to keep a backup of it in case you want to look at files again. Like if you mess something up, it's a good backup. Now I'm going to put the penetrator into my mod folder with the tools. All right, now we all recognize that when we open up the penetrator, it's going to have a part. And I did open it in a separate window, but it's going to have a part. And by this time, I'm sure you know what to do with it. So we're going to go into the Mod Engine 2.0, which is the safest way to mod Elden Ring. Open up the Mod folder, and here is a parts folder. So you can either drag and drop this parts folder, or you can just just insert a new folder and name it parts. And that's personally what I would recommend just because there's gonna be so many parts later on. Now, when we open up the parts folder, it's gonna have the .dcx file and you can't really do anything with it yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in and I'm gonna replace the, the shiny version. So just replace the old one. You probably don't even have this file yet, so it won't replace anything. I'm going to actually delete this. This is for a different video. Um, so everything is pretty much unopened. These, these are all files that are waiting to be opened. All right. But they all, there are all modded files, every single one of these. And if you want to see the original files, you would actually have to go to uh, UXM. So we go ahead and double click USM, UXM. And then we get this little menu and we're going to go ahead and click browse. Now this is going to find the game that we want to unpack. And as far as I know, this tool is for from software. Like, I don't know if it'll unpack other games, but I know it will unpack this. So we're in our steam library. We're going to go to Elden ring and we're going to find the exe file and we're going to open it. All right. And then we're going to click the unpack button. Now the unpack button is going to take quite a few minutes. So if you want to play Clash of Clans or watch the episode on Netflix, if that's even still relevant, um, then feel free. And then when we're done, we'll click explore and you can see the original files and then you can see all the open files that didn't exist before. In this parts folder, you'll see the original files to the entire game. Now, thankfully, we don't really have to mess with those files, but it does help us identify what files we'll be altering in the future if we start our own project. And it'll also um, just give us a base if we want to alter something specific in the game. Now we're going to open this .dcx file. It's super easy, super easy. So now that you have all those shortcuts in this window, you're going to drag that and drop it on Yabber. Super cool. It's going to make a folder. That folder is everything hidden inside that document file. We're going to go ahead and open it. And you're going to recognize, um, why isn't it opening? Just open. Okay, so GR, open it, data, open it. And you're going to recognize what parts, weapons, um, and then some other random ass files. But you're going to need these files for the next step. Now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you have any questions within this realm, feel free to ask and I'll try to answer. Anyway, 
I'll see you in a minute.